Welcome back. Let's get to cleaning these files. Okay, the first thing that we're gonna do is back up the files that we're gonna be cleaning. So let's use that ever so convenient shortcut that we created from earlier in the guide and go into the Skyrim's folder, Skyrim Special Edition, go into data. And what we're gonna choose is Dongard and using control uh, click, Dongard, Dragonborn, Hearthfire, and update. So we're gonna cut those, or actually, sorry, we're gonna copy those and let's create a new folder just uh, just for easy access to our backups. Right click on that and click paste. Okay, let's go ahead and leave this uh, window open for now, just minimize it. All right then, uh, launch Mod Organizer 2 if you haven't already. And now this process may sound like it's some elaborate operation, but you'll, you'll quickly see that's really, really very easy. So from the drop down menu, go down to SSE Edit Quick Auto Clean, run, then click run. All right, then in this window, uh, the first file, file we're gonna clean is update.esm. So click that and none of the others and click okay. And now, believe it or not, we are cleaning that file. Ooh. Go ahead and let it do its thing. Okay, then after you see quick clean mode finished here, uh, you're done. Just go ahead and exit out. Okay, update.esm is now clean. And we're gonna do the same for dongar.esm, hearthfires.esm, and dragonborn ESM. So let's do that. Okay, so click on dongar and then click okay. And let it do its thing. Okay, quick clean mode finished. On to the next one. Go ahead and load it up again. This time we're gonna choose hearth fires. Okay, that one was much faster. All right, quick clean mode finished. Next, Dragonborn. Okay. Okay, quick clean mode finished. That's it for dragonborn.esm. And also noted in the guide, here it says, do not attempt to clean Skyrim.esm. This will result in a corrupted file as it will be compared to itself and all records would be deleted. That sounds terrible, so let's not find out. So anyways, we're just about done. Now we have to go in and manually uh, clean some records from Dongar.esm. And this will be our first real taste of using SSE Edit. Let's get to it. So let's launch SSE Edit. Do the drop down here, click SSE Edit and run. And we're gonna right click here, select none, because we just want to deal with Dongard. By doing this, uh, Dongard will automatically load the files that it needs. So click okay and let it do its thing. And while we're at it, let's go ahead and uh, maximize this a little bit more for better, easier viewing. Okay, and once it's uh, done uh, loading, we're gonna click on the plus sign next to Dongard. Then we're gonna go to block five. And then we're gonna go into sub block three. Okay, now we're gonna locate uh, 16 BCF, that's right here. And then in the right, we're gonna scroll all the way down to where we see X, E, Z, N, encounter zone. And what we're gonna do is right click on the Riften Ratway uh, zone here under the Dawn Guard uh, column here. We're gonna right click on it and click remove. All right. Next up, we're gonna go into block two. Let's go ahead and close this up for ease your viewing. So we're gonna click on block two, go to sub block one, and then we're looking for CW guard templates right here. And we're gonna just delete that. Just a whole record here. So right click on it and go down to remove and yes. And then we're gonna go, let's close this up. We're gonna go to sub block or we're gonna go to block eight and then for sub block one, the entire sub block here, we're gonna delete that. So right click on sub block one, go down to remove and click yes. There we go, we're done with that. So go ahead and close this, make sure dongard.esm is checked and click okay. And then this one, okay, after you close out SSE edit, you're gonna notice that this little one here, the little uh, notification is here, click that. And it says there are files in your overwrite mod directory. So right here you can see overwrite. 
And uh, let's see what's in there. So open and explore. Right click it, go down to open explore. All right, so we see SSE uh, edit backups. That's something we don't need. But SSE edit cache. What this is, is uh, SSE edit cache, uh, the files that it loaded. And we want to actually save this because as we install more and more uh, mods, it's going to take SSE edit longer and longer to load up. And as long as we have this cache folder, it's actually going to make that process a little bit faster. So what we're going to do here is, close that window, right click on overwrite, and we're going to create a mod. Let's call it SSE edit cache. And then click select. So it's going to be grayed out as if uh, there's nothing in it, but don't worry about it. So every time we load up uh, SSE edit, all the, all the cache files that it creates, it's going to go directly into this folder and not into the overwrite folder. All right, with all the cleaning now completed, we will make these clean files into their own separate modification and restore the original files to the Skyrim directory. This will assist in future proofing your clean files for the inevitable Bethesda creation kit update that would overwrite your clean files with the original versions. And this is how we're going to do it. Okay, here it says in the guide, in your mod organizer to mod folders, I want you to go into uh, your mod organizer to folder, click on mod organizer, and then you're gonna see mods here. Go into your mods folder. And uh, here's the two mods that we created, by the way. The SSE edit cache and the SKSE scripts. But anyways, it wants you to, uh, the guide wants you to create a new folder and call it clean vanilla ECM. Uh, uh, ESMs. You could do that, but there is actually another way that I like to do. We're going to click these three dots here, and we're going to click uh, Create Empty Mod. And we will call that Clean Vanilla ESMs. And that saves us from having to dive into a mod, uh, you know, into, into Mod Organizer and create the folder that way. And uh, to open that folder, just right click it and open Explorer. Okay. Now we're gonna go back into the Skyrim installation directory. And uh, what's in here now, these are actually the clean uh, files, we, the clean versions of the .esms. So we're gonna click those, Dongar, Dragonborn, Hearthfire, and update. We're gonna cut those and paste it into the new clean vanilla ESMs uh, mod that we just created paste. Okay. We can close this window. You can close clean to vanilla ASMs. Close that. But leave this open because we're going to restore the original files, the unclean versions, and put them back into the Skyrim installation folder. Okay. And we don't need that folder anymore. And we can go ahead and close that. All right. And let's activate our new mod. You see a plus sign here showing that our clean the vanilla ESMs are overriding the dirty vanilla ESMs. Okay, with this process complete, we are now able to run Skyrim through Steam, resulting in a completely vanilla experience. We can also run Skyrim through MO2's vanilla Skyrim profile, using Skyrim in the drop down, resulting in a completely vanilla experience. And then finally, we could run Skyrim through uh, Mod Organizers 2 uh, Legacy of the Dragonborn Special Edition profile using SKSC and the drop down resulting in a SKSE enabled Skyrim using cleaned vanilla assets. But from this point forward, unless otherwise noted, it will be assumed that you will always start Skyrim using this third option, Legacy of the Dragon Ball Special Edition SKSE. All right, great job guys. Um, in this video, we learned how to clean mods because this is how you would clean any other mods that we download that might require cleaning. Uh, we learned how to sort of basically uh, use some very basic functions of SSE edit. Okay. All right, in the next video, we're gonna learn how to use uh, Bethany to uh, tweak and to adjust uh, various settings in the Skyrim INI uh, configuration files uh, for games created by Bethesda. I'll see you in the next video.